go me because I'm in limbo. I'm still in limbo. Don't know where I'm living, what I want to do. I'm lost. Hey. Hello. Welcome to Sinead's vlog. <laughs> Good morning, big sexies. So I wouldn't usually come on like this, but I got this thing and I wore it to bed. I thought, I want to see what it does. I was actually really comfy to sleep in, but I don't think it's gonna work. But I will show you anyway. You look at the kit with me. I also did like that like tan a glowy thing from Drip and Gold. Very good. I really enjoy it. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> you know, that didn't work guys, but I'm getting my hair done tomorrow anyway. So basically, right, all my friends just got married, literally every single one of them from my secondary school. The last one got married there, apart from me. And I was like, oh, my brother's getting married next week. And I was like, I want to celebrate me a wee bit. Like, I just want to celebrate me a wee bit because, I don't know, just want it. And I was like, I need to go away, read my books, chill, maybe have like a glass of Prosecco, go to a spa. And then I was like, okay, I'm just going to like book like a fancy spa. I tried to get into that Eden, but I didn't really understand the website. So I was like, no. So then I went... Um, to is the marker one in Dublin because I get my hair done tomorrow anyway in Dublin so I was like I'm just gonna stay up today and tomorrow and just be a freaking princess because like there were so much business things that I got like within the last month or two but I've been so busy with other stuff that I've never got to like sit down and be like go me so I'm sweating because it's really hot here today and I'm obsessed with how hot it is okay this is the best we can do with auto glim this is very good don't know what it is recharge because I'm still, because remember I went to the doctor and then I went to the neuropath and I went to everything because everything is wrong with me. So I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but I still have to like have at least one of my meals, not one of my meals, but like have things like this. So like things get moving because I need regular, regular bowels for my body's not, basically it's really rank. When she told me, I was like, what? So basically, all my body functions were like shutting down like my eyes and all what was like so sore like watching the sun like I was like oh, I can't deal wearing sunglasses all the time my hair was falling out my um I was so tired I just had like really low energy what else was wrong there was a lot of things couldn't go to the toilet and basically like because my body isn't like digesting everything's like moving back up and like recycling and it's just not good and then, so basically she was like, your body's not actually taking any nutrients, like your B-complex, everything. So basically we can't give you anything until like your bowels are moving regularly. So now I'm just trying my best to like eat loads of calories and to drink and eat like things like this as well. Because they kind of get, you know, are easily digested. So I just keep, I know, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting there. I feel a lot better. That's like my hair feels a lot better because Tria is doing my hair stuff, but we're getting there. I'm so excited, it's really sunny. I just wanna be in Dublin now because I'm just I'm just chilling by myself today. I'm taking myself out, I'm going to the Marco Hotel, I'm going to read my book on the rooftop with a glass of Prosecco. It's so random because Jack was like, what are you doing today? I was like, I've just decided to go to Dublin for three days and I'm just gonna like ha take myself on a date. I had a really rough week last week and I just, I just feel like I deserve this. And you deserve it too if you're watching this then you really deserve this. Take yourself out for dinner. Prosecco, book, podcast, whatever you want. Whatever you want to do. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. I'll see you at the marker. Hey, so I am in the marker now. It's very fancy. Like, you know it's fancy when someone leaves you to your door, takes you up in the lift. Clinton, very nice guy. So tonight, I just bricked myself the pool, sauna, spa. I'm gonna go downstairs and have like afternoon tea. No, I'm lying, I'm gonna have an April's brisk. <laughs> but then I'm going to go, and then I'm just gonna go down there to meet it back and just be freaking cute. But um, I'll show you the room, cause it's, I don't know if it's worth it though, because it was really expensive, but we'll see how the spa goes and the breakfast goes and we'll see if it was worth it. But right now, no, it is beautiful and it's Dublin. Come on, it's fucking Dublin. Here we go. So, this 
is the bathroom. Like, I'm gonna be in here tonight with bubbles, you know? I wish Jack was here, but fuck's sake, I have to work. I'm just not, I'm just not okay with that. Cute. Yeah. Um, it is very, very nice, isn't it? Like, why am I so naive when it comes to, like, booking things? Like, I was like, where can I get a spa? I just want a massage, right? So then I booked this place. And then I went down and I was like, hi, can I book a massage? And they're like, no. <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, nothing? Not even a wee fit rub. Like, a wee fit rub. Like, I literally would do 20 minutes just, like, you squeeze my beat. That would be grand. <laughs> No, you have to book in advance. And I was like, but my life doesn't work in advance. Like, what about the people like me who don't work in advance? Like, is there a place like this for me? Like, obviously the ballet. Because, or even Australia, even Australia. If you want your nails done, you just walk in. If you want your nails done in Ireland, you have to wait three weeks. I thought the city would be different. I don't know. I'm just a dick. I don't know. Because, like, like, I suppose in ballet or whatever you live, you just walk in. Like, you just walk in. Like, hi, can I have a massage? And they're like, yeah, okay. No, I need to realize that. I need to be more on the ball. I will, but you know what? I will never be on the ball. Like I will always be that person who's like, hey, I'm going on holiday tomorrow. Do you wanna go? I am that person and I will forever be that person. And I know that because I'm a yellow personality. Rates around about it. Once you know that you're a yellow personality, you just accept defeat and like time management. And if you wanna do something, just do it. I know. Anyway, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the pool. I'm allowed to go to the pool. Woo! I like to go to the pill for an hour um, and I think there's a sauna there I don't know we'll see how it goes and then I'm going to go for a nice like walk and then I'm going to come back and have a nice bath please don't judge the most random side foot of my life because I literally just put everything in the bag and now I, have, I was going to go out for dinner tonight and then I was like now I'm just going to go out for a walk and then I might go for a drink just one so I was like no honestly I didn't but we'll just deal with it we'll just deal with it and the hair because of the spa it's like pure afro but like I'm not touching it with heat because I'm getting it done tomorrow and I might dye it brown guys I don't know I know it's a mess in here as well but like like when you're in a hotel like you don't want to clean it up like you're just like no I do that at the house Can you tell your speech about um, the man you were? The man I was? No, because it's going on your fucking YouTube, Sinead. But it was like... Was it because, um, it was because you met, I met me in Bali? It was because I met you in Bali when I was completely lost and I went for a bit of eat, pray, love and <laughs> eat, pray, love. And I was like, hey, it are turned, you okay? Eat, pray, love turned into find myself and I said, right, you were like, oh, it's like you, you, everybody cares about you, right? Or you walk around like Ireland, right? And you're thinking fuck like this person's looking at me but then you go to Bali and you realise nobody no cares <laughs> right so then two years later nearly two years later you buy these ridiculous sunglasses because you don't give a fuck what anybody thinks because you're like nobody actually cares and I made you start a podcast and it made you made me start a podcast and get what else did I do you said what if like what if you don't do it and then oh, you've had one glass of wine <laughs> so then you said what if you don't do it and then I started the podcast. And then I made, I actually made you a cover, so you, you did. You made me do my artwork, you said, right? Your I paid for your artwork. Your homework this week is your artwork. You paid for my artwork. And then you had no choice. Just a really no, good I'm not time. even joking, guys. We're literally not even hammered. We are... Just having a good time. We're just chatting chat. And we're just having a great time. Peace so out. So welcome to Sinead's vlog. <laughs> Peace. So I just had one drink and then came back to my room and I actually love Dublin guys I actually love Dublin so much I would love to buy here but like what you can buy here compared to what you can buy in like Liverpool it's a crazy difference I just love Dublin I love that it's like not too far away but it's it's farther it's far enough away and even when I was out tonight it was so buzzy like there was just like it was just buzzy like it's a Tuesday and it was like people were out chill it's a city I'm obsessed I'm just getting aligned in the city like I get so aligned I just feel so good but I haven't actually told you that I'm actually moving back here next week or two weeks, two weeks time. But I was only living at home because of the wedding and stuff and then I was like, oh, but then I'm just like so lonely during the days and like during the week because obviously all my friends are at work and like, I don't know, like it's weird there for me compared to like 
you know, usually here I get out, go to the gym, go to a cafe. I can't really do that at home. And it's, it's, it's very lonely for me. So, and I can't really start. I think like if I have my own business, I'll have my own business, but like if I have my own office and like have my routine, that would work for me. But like right now it's, I can't do that because I'm in limbo, still in limbo. I don't know where I'm living, what I want to do. I'm lost. Like last week I was like, I'm so lost. I don't know what I'm doing. Like I just feel so lost. I don't know like where I'm supposed to be. And then I was like, today I was like, no, being lost is actually means that like you're very present and you know your own feelings and that sometimes you just need to be lost to know that you're not supposed to be in that place where you were. And I spilled a freaking, look at this, in the fancy hotel, because I got noodles in the shop. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea now and then I'm going to, there's no Love Island. <laughs> like, what do we watch? What do we do? What do people do? What did I do without it? So if anyone's got any suggestions of what to watch and be obsessed with it, I started watching Sex Life actually and it's quite good. Start watching, like, you know what, I'm gonna watch that. Have some more teasers. And get up early, go to the gym. Guys, I haven't been going to the gym in a long time. I know, lost motivation. Just lost it. I'm gonna get it back when I move back here though. Night. So important when it comes to growing from six figures to seven figures. My hair's insane, I don't know. But it's 7 a.m. I'm gonna go to the gym. I haven't been going to the gym at home. I've just had no freaking drive. And I just needed like a little shake. And so I was like, I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna go to the gym and get my shit done. And then hopefully that will like get me motivated for when I like actually come back here and move here. Um, so I'm just listening to, oh, this is the thing I put in my hair. Don't you think my hair is getting thicker? Like even these wee bits, right? I know that obviously I did lose my hair, but like I, I feel that these bits are even growing. Nioxin heard of it um and then i use watersons in the night so that's the morning one um see so yeah, i'm just listening to like an investing podcast because i'm looking to invest but i don't have a fucking clue what i'm gonna invest in and like i know that you guys know that i got um my mortgage approved and that's for liverpool um so i'm looking but i'm just like i'm not even passionate about it i hate it i hate that i'm not passionate about it <laughs> like i was really passionate about it for a while i was like oh my god I really want this apartment and then it's like I think people were scared and people were like no don't buy an apartment and I was like can I like I was like oh asking for advice and I was like no no like you're like freaking out and then tell me about all these things and I was like no I can't deal with this but um so I think I'm just in that mode that I'm just like I just don't know what the fuck I want I fucking hate that but guys just to let you know doing a you time holiday Just getting my hair extensions. I got them out. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be considering the sh hair shedding, but I'm gonna go a little bit darker, I think. Oh my god, I got my hair done by the way, hi. Um, I'm not even joking, like it's, this drink is divine. It's very, very cute here. Very, very cute. I'm obsessed. Don't look at my messy bed. Let's go over here. This is my new hair. Like, I let you text Jack and was like, you're the first person with new hair. And he was like, oh, it looks the same. I'm like, it's been six hours on the hairdresser chair but I love that about you that you don't give a fuck if it's blonde or brown well I think it's brown but it's it's like brown isn't it Helen's here she's okay. here this is Helen my long-lived friend for 10 years 10 years and you know you don't get away with not making plans with with Helen if you're in <laughs> Dublin so like it's not it doesn't work it just doesn't happen like you can't get away with it so we're out for drinks so, bye.
I'm just at the marker and I had a bottle of wine last night, there was no need. So I'm okay with that, but yeah, I'm just gonna catch up some work, some work, some, some, some work. And head down the road, cause I miss Jack. <laughs> it's been two days. And then going to London for the weekend for IFS. That's all my crack and I get really embarrassed chat, like vlogging in public, so it's really nice here though. Good vibes. Okay. Peace out.